When people claim that you know China has ulterior motives uh, with Africa, China's agenda to grab resources, China's agenda to trap African countries into debt. For us, who knows the history, we just laugh and say these people, they don't know what they're talking, or if they know what they're talking, uh, they've decided to distort the truth because China did not start yesterday to help uh, African countries, to work with African countries. Julius Nyerere approached many financial institutions, IMF, World Bank, they went to the US, UK, and all of them turned them down, say, you know, this railway is not economically viable. So when he came to China, uh, he decided to raise this issue with Chairman Mao, but not expecting to get anything, who equally has his own problems and uh, does not have enough resources. Chairman Mao said, you know what, we're going to build this railway. If every Chinese would contribute a dollar, we are going to build this railway. And indeed, he lived to his promise, and the railway was built in the 1970s. To the point that Tanzanians, when they are addressing Chinese, they are no longer calling them even friends. They are calling them our relatives. Nduguze mm. uh, China. And uh, we've never seen any conditions, we've never seen any dictations to do anything uh, that would compromise our sovereignty. This debt trap is just a propaganda. Whoever is alarming the world that China is uh, putting Africa into debt trap, uh, they have their own agenda. We don't choose friends and nobody should choose friends for us.